Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And on today's video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the annoying pop up that is Windows Boot Manager. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so today's video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the annoying message that comes up on Boot Up on your Windows 10 device. And this also applies to probably Windows 7, Windows 8, etc., etc. But this is mostly centered around Windows 10. And this is caused by many things. Sometimes it's when you've done a Windows update, or maybe you've changed hard drive, or whatever the case may be, but you get this annoying pop-up at the start when you turn your PC on, and you basically got to wait for 30 seconds for your PC to actually boot up. Or you can choose to use the Windows Diagnostic, that kind of thing. Anyway, you get the idea. The reason you've probably come to this video is because you've got the message on your screen, and you want to get rid of it. So let's go to the computer, and I'll show you just how to do that. Okay, so you've probably seen the B-roll of my PC booting up and the Windows Diagnostic coming up and basically having to wait for 30 seconds or press the button to boot into Windows. So let's see how to get rid of that. So first thing to do, click on the Start button, or alternately you can just type in the bottom here, so type in nsconfig, which is the System Configuration app. And what we want to do is go into Boot, second tab across on the top, and this is basically your boot settings. Now you may have various entries here. If you do, you can select the erroneous one and click on delete. But if you've not got it at all, then you can ignore that. That is one way of getting rid of it. You can quite easily modify your settings here and you can choose your timeouts, etc., etc. This is one way of changing it. Obviously, if you've got multiple entries here and you're not too sure, then feel free to let me know in the comments section or uh, drop by our Discord and we can go through the various options. So that is one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is to right click on the Windows Start button, choose System, and then when you go into the About PC section, go into Advanced System Settings over here, and you get the System Properties dialog box. So what you can do now is go into Startup and Recovery, click on Settings, and this is a slightly easier way for some of you. So in the moment it says default operating system. Now obviously if you've got more than one operating system and you just want it to boot into your default one, then you can choose whichever you've got. Obviously I'm on Windows 10. And what we've got here is the time to display list of operating systems, which is what is causing our slowdown. So what you can do if you do want to still keep your boot list come up, you can reduce this down to maybe three seconds, I think is the minimum you can do. And you can then click OK, that's all done. Or alternately, just get rid of the tick box there and then essentially it'll just boot into your default operating system. So click OK, close down all your boxes, and then you can restart your PC and it'll boot straight into Windows. So there you go, nice and simple. All you need to do is a couple of tick boxes and Windows will boot up much, much quicker. Well, around about 30 seconds quicker. And also you don't have to have the user intervention. So if this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to click on the subscribe icon. But I think that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.